the OpenAI launched a new model, GPT-4.0, leaving behind a lot ton of new possibilities. So, this multi-model accept the input as a combination of the text, audio, image, and video, and can generate any combination of the text, audio, image, and videos for an output in real time. The word real time is more interesting here, which brings lot ton of use case for day-to-day -day life such as real-time translation. AI agents, virtual teachers, and also this can be used for customer support chatbot. In this video, let's build a virtual girlfriend using GPT-4.0. Also, the code can be modified to build a virtual teacher or translator that we'll see in later part of our video. At the time of building this project, the API for the GPT-4.0 doesn't support audio. In the replacement of that, let's use Plavin Labs for text-to-speech conversion. For building this, all you need is two building blocks. One is LLM to behave like a real girlfriend. So that LLM we'll be using is GPT-4.0. Second part is the high quality text to speech model, which sounds more like a human. So let's build it. Let's use LangChain to interact with OpenAI. If you haven't installed your LangChain and OpenAI, then you can do it by pip install LangChain and OpenAI. We might require other package as we go on so we'll be using or installing it later in this video so in the first let's create a env file where we can store all our credentials and api key if you don't want to do that then you can just export in your terminal like export and open ai with its key now let's create a file named app.py which contains all the logic for our AI girlfriend. So first let's import few libraries that we need. So from LangChain we need LLM chain and prompt template. The LLM chain here is to interact with our LLM and prompt template to define our prompt for LLM. Then we can import conversation buffer memory from langchain.memory. To store our conversation history, we'll be using conversation buffer memory. Also, let's import find.env and .env from .env. If you don't have the .env, you can just install it with pip install python minus dot env and lastly you can import the play sound from play sound for playing our audio file that will get from 11 labs api or any text to speech model if you don't have installed play sound you can just install it with pip install play sound now let's load all our API key from .env in the memory by load .env and find .env. It will basically find the .env file and loads it. As said earlier, you can just export your API key directly in the terminal. Now let's move on. So let's try creating our first function which generates the response from the GPT-4.0 using LLM chain from LangChain. I defined the function as get AI response, which takes input as human input. It contains the prompt for LLM to behave like our girlfriend. And it goes as you play a role as my girlfriend and let's play with the following requirement. I named our girlfriend as Kaya, which is 25 years old and it works as a machine learning engineer and planning to do an AI startup. 
you are my girlfriend and you have the language addiction you like to say um and you like to talk i would define some as don't be over enthusiastic don't be cringe and don't be creepy and to understand our past conversation we add history to our prompt and to get the conversation going we add human input to an boyfriend which basically means the user input that we define for our boyfriend and next we create a prompt template with the input variable of history and human input which means the prompt that we define above contains two input that needs to be filled and the template here refers to the template this then we define our lm chain to interact with our gpt 40 model where we pass our prompt template and we define the memory we store pass to conversation in the history and finally we get the output from the gpt through chain by chain dot predict by passing human input as an input now we have an ai that act as our girlfriend but it is in text which means the reply that our gpt 40 model gives is basically text now let's keep this girlfriend a voice for voice we'll be using 11 labs a text to speech library now it creates some high quality voice same as the demo of gpt 40 as we have seen earlier we'll be using this free trial as of now but we'll be having the limit of 10000 character per month but that's okay you can just sign up and get the api key and paste it in your env file now let's create a function which convert your text to a speech using 11 labs now i define this function as text to a speech which contains the input as a text the code the code i copied is from 11 labs you just need to pass your api key here or you can just define your api key in dot env file and import it from there now it will convert the text that you passed as an input and save it as audio.mp3 and we'll be using the play sound to play that audio now to test it i want to create a simple web ui so we'll use the fast api library to create a web app now if you haven't installed the fast api you need to install fast api and uvcon to install it just pip install fast api and uvcon now let's create a new file name solver.py now this will contains our apis here basically we define a function to load our html file name home.html so basically it will contain a simple form with the input to add the message and button to send a post request to our api that we will define earlier and some javascript to fetch the data from the api and show it in html now to code that we just need to define our template folder and create a file name home.html there so as said earlier it contains the input that takes the message and button to send to our api which will be named as send message and also a javascript to fetch the data from the send message api and show it in the html now to define the send message api which will be triggered when someone sends the message from our home page now let's create a function that takes the request from data and send it to our open ai and play the sound now we can create this main function that will be triggering all our function that we have created earlier you can just go to app.py and create your function main which takes the text from an input and send it to our 11 labs to play the sound now let's run it so to do that you can just type python solver.py now it will give a local url to run your file 
so it's here so now let's test it let's say hey how was your day yeah now it will send to our api and we should hear a sound hey babe um my day was pretty good work was you know the usual grind but i did get to work on some interesting machine learning models um i also spent some time brainstorming ideas for that ai startup i've been thinking about how about you how was your day mm -hmm. that sounds cool so let's try with uh, other text ads fine day was good I was with you. How are you doing with your startup? Hey, um, I'm glad to hear your day was good. I missed you too. As for the startup, it's been pretty exciting, but also um, a bit overwhelming. There's just so much to do, you know? I'm trying to balance my current job with all the planning and research for the startup. How about you? Anything interesting happen today? <laughs> so that's working really well now you can just uh, tweak the prompt and make it as you like or the girlfriend you like in the meantime let's try something new now let's change the prompt to make it a translator we change or we translate our language from english to hindi now here every step remains the same but we need to change our prompt now to change our prompt you can just write uh, you play as a role of my translator now let's play a following requirement your name is kaya and 25 years old and this should be changed to now you can just uh, make it as you work as the translator that converts english to hindi and uh, we need to change our second to like you are very PSSIONL professional and have alien language addiction and you like learning new languages after that this can be uh, remain same and it seems to be okay and we can change uh, this to translator and for something a little tricky we can just uh, change this as from ai girlfriend bot to translator to trans later and same thing for AI trans later now let's run python server dot and go to the url start typing this so we can just uh, say as hello how are you uh, that seems to be good and something like what is the National animal of India. Quickly, let's see how we can talk to our translator rather than typing. In this case, we'll be using faster distill whisper small dot en. Now, this is a speech to text model, so the plan here is to record our audio and send the audio to the whisper model for the transcription. We'll use that transcription to send to our GPT-4 model to for the reply. Now we need to add some more lines in our code. So let's go into Visual Studio. So in the server.py, we'll define our whisper model, which will import from faster whisper. So if you haven't installed the faster whisper, you can install it with pip install faster whisper. And we'll define our new API endpoint called record audio, which basically takes a file as an input and use a whisper model to transcribe that file into a text. Later, we'll send that text to our 
main function which will convert it into the audio using 11 labs. Again, in the home.html, we will create a new button that will record an audio for us and we'll add some JavaScript in the home.html which will be triggered when we click the record button which basically stores our audio in the form of audio.wav and send this audio to slash record audio API endpoint that we have defined earlier. Now we are good to go. Now you basically need to again run python server.py which will open a localhost where you can go for your web page. So let's test this. Now if you just click start recording then it will record your audio and send it to the server for processing. So let's try it. Hello, how are you? Okay, this seems to be working. And let's do something like what is the national animal of India? So that is good. Now you have just built your own real time translator. Additionally, what you can do is use an whisper kit and create your own mobile app that does translation as shown in the OpenAI demo. Now this will be more advanced as the GPT-40 API will support audio output. After this experiment, you can also digitalize your own translator. Now to make the digitalized avatar who can talk, you can either use 2D based model or a 3D based model. Now in case of the 2D based model, to make it real time, it's quite challenging. But the model from web to lip can be made somehow real time if you cache the audio that you will send into the NPY format and change its face detection from S3 FD to media pipe. As media pipe detects the face in 60 FPS and is somehow real time. But the quality of the video that it generates is only 96 by 96. But the people have done some modification on it to make it 28 by 28 where the quality of the video is really good and you can check that online. But in case of 3D based model, we use a 3D mesh of a human mouth. Now this mouth can be animated by the blend shape. Now blend shapes are mostly defined by phenoms. The phenoms are basically the smallest unit of sound. Now there are only 44 phenoms in the English language and this differs according to the languages that you use. Now its phenoms has certain mouth shape as shown here. Like A has the mouth shape as this and we use J, I, R for the mouth shape this. You can test it while you speak. Along with W and U, we just make our mouth shape as this. Now we need to define our blend shape which is basically the vector for a 3D mesh mouth movement. Now for each phenoms, we will create the blend shape as this. Then as we know phenoms is the smallest unit of a word, then you can break the word into the phenoms and use the blend shape of the respective phenoms for a mouth movement. That will basically create a talking face for you in the 3D base model. Now there are other things that you need to know before starting out. Now you can use the API from this which will give a 3D blend shape for you. Now these are the blend shape that I was talking about. Each blend shape has the movement that should be done for each phenoms. So that's all for this video. If you have any query, please drop a comment and like the video if you learn something new.